Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the second intermediate grade. For the first semester of this year, our subject, as you know, is the English language from Super Goal 3. From the book Super Goal 3. This is the book of today. Our lesson for today is Unit 1. Are you here on vacation? Number 3. This is the third part. Today we have reading, writing, form, meaning, and function. This whole presentation is prepared and it will be presented to you by Sultan Shahrani. So, first of all, thank you very much all of you for being with me. It's a pleasure to have a brilliant student like you. The second thing, I want to make sure that you understand our book, as I said before, is Super Goal 3. It's not the full plus, it is Super Goal 3, okay? The third thing, and the most important one, I want to ask you, are you ready to begin our lesson? Everyone, are you ready? Let's go. First of all, today we will learn number one, practice reading. Number, number two, polite writing. Number three, answer information questions. Number four, propositions of place. Number five, asking for and giving directions. Reading. Before reading, what do you know about youth hostels? Youth hostels. What do you know about it? What do we mean by that? When I say youth, I mean young boys. Like those. Can you see them? You can say 16, 17, 18 to 20 years old. Maybe, okay? Youth hostels. But the hostels, what does it mean? Hostels. This word is close to hotels, isn't it? So, the hostels, it's the same as the hotels. But uh, there are small room. This is number one. Number two, maybe someone will share with you the room. And also, definitely, he will share with you the bathroom. It's ex uh, not expensive. It's cheaper than the hotels. Uh, what else? There are no facilities, no more facilities. Only the room and the bathroom. That's it. Okay, no club, no uh, buffet, for example, no restaurant, nothing. Okay, this is the hostels. We will see about it. Number two, question number two. What do you know about S-A-Y-H-A? What do you know about it? S-A-Y-H-A. -A. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything? Saudi, Arabian, youth, hostels, Association okay, Saudi Arabia Youth Hostels Association. What does it mean? It's an association which concern which take care of the youth hostels around the kingdom around Saudi Arabia. So, listen, everyone the place to stay. Many young people traveling around the world are backpackers or students on a low budget, they want to see the world but they can't afford to pay for regular hotels. So youth hostels are the perfect solution for travelers without a lot of money to spend. Today, there are more than 4,000 hostels in over 80 countries, and the Saudi Arabian Youth Hostels Association, S-A-Y-H-A, offers accommodations in 21 cities across the kingdom. The accommodations in hostels are inexpensive because guests usually share rooms and bathrooms. Most hostels have a laundry room, telephones, internet connection, and a restaurant. Some hostels also offer cooking facilities, such as a kitchen with pots and dishes. Youth hostels are usually in interesting places where young people can learn about the local monuments, history, and culture. Some hostels are even inside old historic buildings, castles, and on boats. Hostels are definitely the place for socializing. The guests, who are from different cities or countries, have the opportunity to meet other young people and share experiences. Many hostels organize tours and fun activities. For example, S-A-Y-H-A holds sports and painting competitions, 
and there are also prizes for the best community projects. So when traveling, youth hostels are the best place to stay and make new friends. Very nice, excellent. So we have a lot of information about the youth hostels and it's a YHA as we said before, okay? So now we have an evaluation after reading answer yes or no. Let's see, number one, young tourists are usually rich. Mm, they are usually rich, the young tourists. What do you think? Is it yes or no? Let's go back just to check. What do you think? Many young people traveling around the world are backpackers or students on a low budget. When I say a low budget, that means that they don't have much more money. They have low amount of money, low amount of money. Okay, so the first one is no, of course it is. Number two, the rooms in youth hostels are usually cheap. Mm, they are usually cheap. What do you think? Do you want me to go back to check? Take a look. What do you think? The accommodations in hostels are inexpensive. Excellent. So when I say inexpensive, that means it's not expensive. It's cheap. Okay, very nice. Cheap. So number two is yes. Number three, you can't cook in any youth hostels. You can't cook. What do you think? Let's go back. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Some hostels also offer cooking facilities, such as a kitchen with pots and dishes. Okay, so very nice. Number three is no, because you can cook. This is wrong. You can cook in any youth hostels. Number four, hostels are good places for meeting people. They are good places for meeting people. What do you think? Let's check. Hostels are definitely the place for socializing. When I say socializing, that means I stay with people, I talk to people, I work with people. The guests who are from different cities or, or countries have the opportunity to meet other young people. To meet other young people. So, number four is yes. Of course, they are good places for meeting people. Okay? Excellent. Let's go to the next. Discuss. Where do you stay when you travel? Where do you stay? What about you? Where do you stay? Okay, so for me, for example, I stay at hotels because this is the easiest one that I can get to. Okay, describe the places where you stay. Can you describe the place where you stay? Describe it. Very nice. So for me, if, I w if you want me to describe the hotel, of course, it's a l ex expensive, more, than, more expensive than the hostels. It has more facilities, restaurants, okay, there is a club, swimming pool, okay, um, I have my own room, my own bathroom, so this is, uh, it's different, now in this way it's different from the hostels, okay, excellent. Next, writing, check the phrase that is more polite, so number one, what is the better thing to say? Is it better to say, can I help you, sir? Or, what do you want? Which one is more polite? Which one is more polite? Excellent, this one. It's more polite or it's better to say, can I help you, sir? Number two, I want to make a reservation. Or, I would like to make a reservation. Which one is more polite? Excellent, this one. Number three, tell me where the restaurant is. Excuse me, where is the restaurant? Which one? Excellent. Number four, A, may I have your credit card? 
B. Give me your credit card. A or B? Excellent. A. Number five. A. Say that again. B. Could you repeat that, please? So what do you think? What is better? A or B? What is more polite? What do you think? B. Excellent. Okay. Could you repeat that, please? Very nice. Write a corner. In formal situations, such as at a hotel, use a polite language to make requests. If you want to make a request, use polite language. Okay, more polite language. For example, number one, you have to use would like. Would like is a polite form, is a polite form of want. So if you want to say a sentence, I do want to use the word want. It's better not to use want, use would like instead. For example, don't say, I want to make a reservation. You have to say, I would, I'd, I would, this is I would, okay? This is the, this is the short form. I would like to make a reservation. I'd like to make a reservation. It's more polite, it's better. If you want to say, do you want breakfast? You have to say, would you like breakfast? Would you like breakfast? This is beautiful, more polite. Number two, use can, could, may to politely ask questions. So if you want to ask a question, it's polite to say can, to use can or could or maybe may. For example, you want to say spell your last name. It's better to say, could you spell your last name? You want to say, give me your passport. You have to say, may I see your passport, please? And don't forget to use the word please as much as you can. Okay? Excellent. This is how can you make your language or your sentence, your question uh, more polite. B. Read the questions, decide what information is being asked for, and write it in the chart. So this is the question, and this is where we write the information that he's asking for. Okay? For example, if we read number four, what day are you arriving? What day are you arriving? That means arrival date. The information that he wants is arrival date. Number five, how long? Many days. Are you staying? How long are you staying? So he's looking for the length of stay. He wants, what is the information that he wants? It is the length of stay, the length of stay. So number one, what is your name please? Or maybe could you spell your last name? He's looking for what? First and last name, or maybe the name of the guest. Number three, what is your address and telephone number? He's looking for what? What is the information that he's looking for? Address and telephone number. Excellent. Uh, we have finished with number four, five. Let's go to six. How many guests is the room for? How many guests is the room for? He's looking for number of guests. Number seven, may I have your passport, please? May I have your passport, please? What does he want? The passport or the identification. Number eight, how are you paying for the room? How are you paying for the room? He's looking for what? Method of payment. So he asking, he's asking you, do you want to pay with the credit card or you want to pay in cash? credit card or maybe in cash or there's another method that you want to use okay excellent now let's go to the four meaning and function we will talk today about prepositions of place exactly we will use across from between next to on near far from okay let's see them one by one so we have this picture and we have this tree and the school, the street. So we can say the park 
is across from the school. So this is the park, okay? This is the park. So the park, can you see the park? Okay, is across from, across from the school. So this is the school and this is the park. So the park is across from, you can say in front of, in front of. The park is in front of the school. Okay, very nice. Number two, between the bank, can you see the bank? This is the bank. Is between the post office, post office. This is the post office. And the restaurant. This is the restaurant. The bank is between the post office and the restaurant. The bank, the post office, the restaurant. Next to the pharmacy is next to the box store. This is the pharmacy and this is the box store. The pharmacy is next to next to the box store. Okay. The bus stop is on the corner. This is the bus stop. Can you see it? This is the bus sign, the bus stop sign, and this is the chair uh, for the bus stop. So we say the bus stop is on the corner. Can you see the corner? This is the corner. This is street, and this is another street. Okay. The museum is near the hotel. This is the museum. This is the hotel. Okay. The museum is near the hotel okay so it's not next to because the hotel is not here this is a space okay there is nothing here so we can say near it's not far it's not far it's not far from okay the airport can you see the airport this is the airport is far from the town this is the town okay this is the airport it's far from the town it's far away can you see it? Very nice. Next, asking for and giving directions. At first, you have to know these three important directions. So, when you say go straight ahead, this is mean go straight. Go straight ahead. Turn left. This is turn left. Okay. Turn right. This is turn right. So, if you want to give someone a direction, the most of the directions, you have to use these three or one of them, maybe two of them. Okay, let's take some examples of asking and giving directions. Question number one. Can you tell me where the nearest bank is? Okay, so you can ask in this way. If you want to ask about, for example, a restaurant. Can you tell me where the restaurant is? Can you tell me where the post office is? Can you tell me where the park is? Okay. And the, the directions should be like this or maybe close to this. Turn right into Park Avenue. Turn left into, for example, let's say Hera Street. Okay. Or maybe you can say go straight. Another question. Excuse me. Where is the art mu museum? You can say, excuse me. Where is the restaurant? Excuse me, where is the post office? So you have to change this one, the art museum. Okay, we have another example. Turn left at the next corner, for example. Another question. Is this the right way to the subway station? Is this the right way to the post office? Is this the right way to the bank, for example? Okay, go straight ahead for two blocks. Go straight ahead for one block. Go straight ahead for three, four, five blocks, and so on. The last question, how can I get to the post office? How can I get to the restaurant? How can I get to the bank, for example? Go east on 2nd Street. So what does it mean, east? This is east, can you see it? Those are the directions, the main directions. This is the north. Okay, this is the north. Tabuk is in uh, the north of Saudi Arabia. This is the south. The south. Abha is in the south of Saudi Arabia. This is the east. The east. For example, Dammam is in the east of Saudi Arabia. This is the west. The west. Jeddah is in the west 
of Saudi Arabia. North, south, east, west. Okay, so when I say go east, I mean this one. This is the east. Go east on 2nd Street. Okay, very nice. Work with a partner. Describe the location of places on the map. Use across from, between, next to, on, near, and far from. I will give you some examples, okay? After that, you can practice. After we finish our class, you can give more or write more descriptions, okay? For example, let's say, the bus stop is across from the shopping mall. Okay, let's take a look. This is the bus stop and this is the shopping mall. So, the bus stop is across from, across from the shopping mall. In front of the shopping mall. Okay, excellent. Number two, the pizzeria is between the bank and the pharmacy. The pizzeria is between the bank and the pharmacy. This is pizzeria. Okay, and this is the bank. This is the pharmacy. Between, pizzeria is between the bank and the pharmacy. Between, between. The coffee is next to the hotel. Mm, where is the coffee? This is the coffee. Is next to the hotel. Can you see that coffee and the hotel? If you are walking here, okay, on this street, for example. So, this is the coffee. Next to that, you will find the hotel. This is the hotel. Next to that, you will find the coffee. Okay, so the coffee is next to the hotel. Next to, next to. The bank is on the corner of Main and 2nd Street. The bank, this is the bank, is on the corner of Main. This is Main Street. Okay. And 2nd Avenue. And 2nd, this is the 2nd. Main and 2nd. So this is the corner. This is the corner, okay? You know the corner? This is the corner, so this is the bank. Excellent. The restaurant is near the hotel. The restaurant is near the hotel. This is the hotel and this is the restaurant. It's near. It's not far from. It's not far away. No, it's near of that. It's not across, okay, but it's near. The subway station is far from the art gallery. This is the substation and this is the art gallery. It's far away. It's far from. You have to go like this, then like this, then you can go like this. It's far away, okay? The, sub, the subway station is far from the art gallery. Today we learned practice reading, polite writing, answer information, questions, Prepositions of place and asking for and giving directions. We talked about the directions. This is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you very much all of you for being with me. This is Sultan Shahrani. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye everyone.